Stuff for me to 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 Hello, uh, today we're going to repair a BlackBerry Z10, uh, this is a 4G LTE version, uh, crack in the screen and the touch function stopped working. Um, I found this awesome part which was actually cheaper than um, the screen, like the glass and the LCD alone. For some reason, well, I kind of know the reason. It's the Chinese New Year, so people might be sh sold out of stuff that's not quite coming in fast enough. Anyway, this part is awesome. It's pretty much a board swap. If you can get this part, get this part. Even if it ends up being a couple bucks more expensive, if this is not your job, you save yourself a whole bunch of headache. This is super easy. Okay, Let let's get going. Um, I'm going to power your device down, remove the back cover, take out the battery, which I have taken out here already. Make sure to remove your SIM card and your SD card. Okay, with that removed, use a T4 screwdriver, we're going to remove nine screws. They should be all the same, so there's no worries about trying to uh, separate them. One thing that came off of this phone already, on this one, more than likely, if your phone has never been opened, there's going to be this black little sticker on top of this. Peel the sticker off, and underneath you'll find another T4 screw. It's one of the nine. Count it eight there. You gotta pay attention. Okay. With these screws removed. Um, you're gonna gently start prying. Start at the bottom here. Okay. Start at the top here. Start wherever you can get the thingy in. Don't stick your tool in too far, you might damage something. Gently work your way around. As always, if you're prying on it too hard, you're doing something wrong. Um, this, this one has been opened once before. There's a little piece of glue on top of this, like the battery connector. The, the housing is glued in here a little bit, so for me it'll come off easy. You'll have a little bit of trouble there. Well, not trouble, but you, you have to finagle it a little bit. Um, okay, just work your way around. There we go. This goes in. Like, I don't know how well you guys can see this. <clears throat> Come on. I know you want to go. There it is. So we got, we had the back side here loose. Let me, of course I push it back in. Yeah, there it is. Now, right here, by the SIM slot, that piece kind of hooks, the cutaway kind of hooks under the motherboard. That's what I like to do with my blue little tool is kind of pull that out just 
pull it gently so you don't try to pry up the motherboard. Okay, the bottom here is free, so let's go to the top here. Let's see what we got. There it is. There it is. Okay. There it is. Okay. For me, you saw how easy that popped up, that last little bit. Right here. That's sticky. And it's... Yeah. You gotta just make sure pull that off. Okay. Put it to the side. Now we're gonna remove five... Five plug connectors. Like one, two, three, four, and Five. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now the board comes out like this and you kind of pull it out this way. There you go. That's it. That's your motherboard right there. Put it to the side. Okay, the awesomeness about this part, the part I purchased, is that everything is in there. It's ready to go. Um, just make sure before you're all done to swap the sticker. You want the information of your phone. It's all included on the sticker. So you want to swap that too. Peel it off. Put it in the new housing. Okay, we're going to start by removing the little camera plastic. Sure for you. Okay, that's it. The motherboard will swap right in. Make sure this plug is out of the way. You come in at the same angle. Okay, I have sausage fingers, so I gotta use the little tool here to get the plug out of the way. And then this screw hole and this screw hole, it's like a little barrel and the board kind of falls over it. Like that, and then the camera kind of gotta make it sit in its little housing like that. Pops up a little bit, but we can stop that with the vibrator connector. Plugs in nicely, too. Four, five. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to put the housing back on, the back housing. Put it down. Start with the top. Look at that. Clicks right into place. That's it. Screws back in.
you know it's pretty good pretty quick fairly simple repair not too costly I like it I like it a lot well let me not speak too soon Take it back. There it is. SD card. I don't have the SIM card for this phone, but it doesn't really matter. The functionality is um, it's a Blackberry, so when you put the battery in, it starts coming on. booting up which takes forever when you're waiting for it but uh, you know look at that I don't want the Blackberry Hub. There we go. How do we go back on this? Nice. I see so little Blackberries in my shop that I don't even know how to work them. Seems to be working great. And a cancel. I'll never go home. Lock. Okay. That's it. Let me pull this ugliness off. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like my video, please subscribe. Um, if you're going to do repair your Blackberry yourself, just one time deal. I recommend going with this option. It's ideal, it's quick, it's easy, it's not that expensive. And, uh, well, it looks great. Hey, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. And until the next one.